Good morning Aries and welcome to your June monthly predictions reading. We're looking at love though so it's technically a mid-June to mid-July love predictions reading and we're just focusing on love so if you're looking for something more general or um, information on other areas of your life be sure to check out your June predictions reading on my channel where you can get more general themes. Now Aries let's get into it. We're going to start by pulling three cards which will tell us the main themes in love that your sign can expect to experience and then we're going to get tarot to explore each of the respective themes before getting advice now if a person pops out in your reading um, we're going to have a look at their energy towards you and how they'll be feeling towards you in the month ahead as well and we'll get advice on how you should interact and deal with them okay so let's have a look for aries please spirit what are aries main themes in love for the month ahead mid-june to mid-july aries please spirit what are Aries' main themes in love? Okay, you've got an interesting array of energy and I have a feeling that love for you is maybe kind of, it may be getting a bit more complicated only because sweets, it's seemingly getting more serious for you, especially if you're a single Aries. I see you dating. I see people wanting to date you. I just feel like Aries, <laughs> why aren't you focusing on them? That's the question. Some of you are like really clinging to your singlehood um, whereas others of you are attracting unwanted attention is what it feels like you're concerned about bringing on partnership or commitment at the back of the deck we have cancer reverse so I'm going to throw out some themes before we explore them all individually Cancer reversed makes me think that you are trying to almost separate yourself from somebody. You're trying to be very specific about how you love and who you nurture. You're trying to be very careful about who you associate yourself with. And some of you are feeling emotionally neglected by your partner in the month ahead if you have one. Some of you are feeling as though you got to spend some time working on your relationship, but you're also questioning whether it's reciprocated, whether this person wants to work on it as much as you do. I see what the number 22 that you're dealing with somebody you're definitely interacting with somebody Aries somebody who is actually your match but I think that there are qualities that they have that you don't like because they're also qualities that you have and I want to go out on a limb here Aries and say that 22 is referencing mirroring you attracting a partner who reflects certain things back to you both that I think you admire and that you don't like and then we have this Leo card reversed, which always makes me think of the fifth house, romance, dating. However, this Leo card reverse feels like your light dimming. It feels like you're dimming your light here, either because you're attracting unwanted attention or you're not feeling recognized by your romantic partner. With the seventh house reversed, a partnership is on the rocks here. But for some of you, it's because you haven't given it the chance to get off the rocks in the first place. Some of you are putting someone in the in this rocky situation. It depends on which side of the fence you fall on and we'll see what tarot tells us. But I just think that a partnership needs work in the month ahead if it's going to be more stable because I'm seeing disharmony and instability um, balance, imbalances here. I also think that some of you may have dabbled in love as a distraction only to realize that you've attracted a very serious love offer and that's not what you were wanting so let's get some tarot out we'll start with that number 22 spirit what is happening in love for aries from mid-june to mid-july with the number 22 what is happening in love for aries with the number 22 What is happening in love for Aries with that number 22, please, spirit? Yeah, your fire energy here is feeling muted. It feels very muted. What is happening in love for Aries, please, spirit? And you feel almost threatened. Back of the deck, we have the Six of Swords. So in the reverse position so you almost feel like threatened it feels like somebody who is supposed to treat you a certain way has you feeling like an option five of wands queen of wands reversed four of wands this is someone that you were feeling quite serious about but it's like you have a love 
interest over here that's making you compete for them. They're making you compete for their attention. They're putting you through the hoops. And if this isn't them, then it could be you, but I don't think it is because you're this queen of wands energy. You're the fire sign, right? Unless you're dealing with another fire sign, a Leo um, or a Libra, but I don't think so. I think that they're making you feel less than your fabulous, attractive, enigmatic self because the thing about you Aries is you have a presence and your love interest knows that so they're almost trying to put you in your place I see this person it goes beyond this energy of mind games it makes me think that they're trying to give this illusion that while yes I want stability and marriage for some of you with you I also want you to know that like you're not the only big dog it makes me feel like with the five of wands, somebody's making you think that there's competition. Like if you want this, you've got to work for it. That's what it feels like. And I don't know if that's necessary. I don't know. Spirit, can we clarify this queen of wands energy, please? Actually, sorry, spirit. You're right. We got to switch decks because this is a person. Can we clarify that queen of wands energy, please, spirit? Is that Aries or their love interest? It's probably an air sign from the looks of things. It's definitely a love interest. Libra is the most strong a sign that's showing up. So what is this person's deal? <laughs> what is their deal towards Aries? Why are they treating Aries like this? Because this person felt that they couldn't read you well. So they're pulling out they're pulling out the big guns. For some of you, they couldn't read you. So they're making you think like, do, if you're really interested in me, you have to show me you're interested. Um, they're pulling out all the big guns. I'm picking up Libra and Virgo strongly. Doesn't have to be. Um, this person felt like they, you were taking too long to take action or that you, you weren't sort of being clear in how you felt. They think that they're saving the relationship by doing this. Um, they think that this was the only choice, the wisest choice. This person felt like you went in hermit mode. You weren't noticing them anymore. You weren't paying attention to them anymore. They didn't want this cycle with you to end. They were trying to do something drastic to stop them from missing out. Two fives reverse. They initiated this change because ultimately they didn't want to lose you. Yeah, obviously. Devil reverse, not the healthiest way of doing things. It feels like this person's very attached to you, um, but they want what you have, Aries. Is there love here? No, there's a feeling of a burden of responsibility. This person, it's not that they... Listen, I'm not doubting that they, for some of you, don't have love, but the Ten of Wands, the reason they're doing all of this is because they feel like they are owed your time. They feel like you owe them your attention. They feel like you owe them something, like it's your responsibility to take this further. So they're getting into this petty energy. Ugh, not my funnest, not my funnest vibes, but we gotta, we gotta dissect it. So Spirit, what is this person's feelings towards Aries in the month ahead? Mm, this person's a little bit angry for some of you because they felt like they were just one of your options. This person is feeling frustrated. This person is feeling like the, the two of you lack trust. This person is feeling like they need you to trust them again. We have anger and trust here. Quits by Flume is the song and Dangerous by the XX. So that anger song is whole damn time we was loving undercover, yeah. Don't you know that kills me inside. She always gets the best of me. I lose my mind. I hate starting fights, but I'm about to blow. This feels like a last resort energy. Like I'm, you've put me in this position, Aries. You made me feel like I have to fight for this. They say we're in danger, but I disagree. If proven wrong, shame on me, but you've had faith in me. They say you were dangerous, but I don't care. Spirit, what is the advice for Aries in this situation? This person is um, uncharacteristically dangerous in this situation. Like what they're doing, you may not have seen them do that before. You didn't think that they had it in them. What is Aries' advice here when it comes to this love situation? Thank you so much, Spirit. Spirit is like sweet queen. 
sweet king, if that's the, your situation. You are in a glow up phase of your life. As you attract more of what you deserve, you are also clearly retracting away from things that do not match the best qualities of your um, energy. I see that this person is trying to provoke you. Your advice is to have boundaries with this person. They are not to be trusted. This trust needs to be your connection to reality, your awareness of what they are capable of, and you putting a safety net around you, either practically or energetically, to ensure that their heavy energy doesn't detract from your growth. I see you gaining stability amidst all of this chaos. The Four of Wands is talking about you having your peace, your harmony, a cause for celebration. Unfortunately, it's that sense of success that is also so bringing this negative energy out because they're seeing you in your power. They're seeing you with your passion, with your grace, with your attraction, and they want what you have. So some of you, you're buying your first house and this person's like, wow, I didn't think you had it in you, Aries. You're moving home or you're having a reason to celebrate yourself. And this person is attacking one of your weaknesses, one of your insecurities, only because they know they can, only because they know how to get a rise out of you. Excuse me how to draw attention from you. I see it fizzling out pretty quickly as long as you don't feed it attention. But if you feed that beast, it will come back and bite you back. An eye for an eye with that 22. So just be careful about mirroring this person's toxicity. Let's move forward, Aries, with that Leo card reversed. What does Aries need to know about this Leo energy and their love life spirit? What does Aries need to know about this Leo energy in their love life? You have this feeling of partnership in your reading, but I see that you're shying away from it. Yeah, you have this feeling of partnership here, but some of you are either feeling like you're not ready or the energy with that 22 is, is detracting from your um, ability to find somebody more suited, justice upright, three of cups upright, and the death card reversed, a messy transformation. It could be that you meet somebody new while you're still dealing with this, and you're just trying to keep it friendly, and you're just trying to kind of be um, open, but not too serious. However, I think that the person that you're dealing with is looking at you in all seriousness. I think that you're dealing with a Libra potentially, or just somebody who's very black and white about how they feel for you. And while I see this person being patient, I also seeing them want more of you and feeling like you're not taking them seriously. With the death card reversed, I see you pumping the brakes on something because of how it triggers something connected to your past. A feeling connected to your past, an insecurity connected to your past, a fear connected to your past. Um, you have to kind of collect yourself with the death card reversed and give yourself time to process your feelings and your fears especially before you're comfortable moving forward. But a key theme here is working on a partnership and taking it to the next level in the next month. I do think that for a lot of you, if you're really not dealing with anybody yet, this person is going to come at you in a social situation with other people that you're comfortable around, friends or close, close family, like siblings with the three of cups. And um, communication is going to be easy with them. They're chatty, they're inquisitive, they're fun, they're caring, and you're going to get that impression from them. And it's very genuine. That's the thing. They're not pretending to be like this. It's very genuine and it's very triggering for you. Spirit, what is this person's feelings towards Aries in the next month? What is this person's feelings towards Aries in the next month? Yeah. For some of you, this is someone that's had their eye on you for a while, but they just feel like you don't, you're not taking them seriously. We have pensive self and annoyance here. Those are the three vibes. And we have, um, in terms of artists, these are people that have worked together before. So we have Tyler, the creator, Kali Uches, Yuna and her. So these are artists that have collaborated before. I think you're gonna be connecting with a friend or um, a friends with benefits or somebody who has been around you before. Um, this person is going to 
come at you in a way where you friend zone them first before realizing that they're a lot serious, more serious about you. And Aries, I see them feeling your resistance with pensive here. They're saying, didn't know I got a call before. Honestly, you didn't see the best in me. It feels like you're mocking me. Now I've gone off so far away, a castaway. And then we also have, can you focus on me? Baby, can you focus on me? You just don't have a clue. Baby, I just want you to get up and focus on me. Annoyance. Yeah, this person is just feeling like they're feeling like you're not taking them seriously. It's, it's frustrating. I can feel it. It's very frustrating for them. Um, what do we want to do? I want to get you advice, but I want to figure out what this person wants from you, Aries. Like, what are they expecting? What does this person want from Aries, please, spirit? What do they want from Aries? Wow. Yeah. Okay, so what is this person's energy towards Aries? How are they going to make this clear to Aries? What is their energy towards Aries? This person will not give up. They will not give up, Aries. I see this person chasing you, waiting for you. I see this person really just trying to kind of wait for you. They're not going to give up. They're, they've been standing in the peripherals for a while and they will continue to do so until you notice them. Their energy towards you is that they're not going to give up. Even though you may reject this person, even though you may tell them like, no, I don't see you that way. Um, this person, what do they want from you? They want to have something stable. They want to stable commitment they want a stable opportunity they want the chance to be able to do something over with you there's this heavy feeling of transformation so this person has a connection to your past in some way or they trigger a connection to your past um, but there's all this plutonic energy of you feeling afraid because there's a strong connection to your past here. And I think that this person wants to be able to change your mind about themselves. They're trying to come through in a very stable way um, because they want a stable opportunity with you, Aries. So what is the advice here for Aries? What is the advice here for Aries? What is the advice here for Aries, please, Spirit? You are having such an eventful month. What the heck? What are you doing? <laughs> okay. Spirit, come on, be clear. What is the advice here for Aries with this person? Okay. Honestly, communication is going to be so helpful with this person. Try not to shut down. Try to actually have a discussion with them. Try to get to understand their point of view. Be very clear in terms of where you're coming from. If you need time to reconcile your feelings or to understand how you feel, communicate that. Don't just shut down. There is an unhelpful something that is limiting the potential of this connection. And I don't think it's of this person. I think it's linked to you, sweets. You are creating a disconnection from the best possible outcome here because of something connected to your past. Some of you, this person is that connection to your past and you're just unsure if you can see them differently. But I also think that there are fears that aren't necessarily real that are also standing in the way. So at the end of the day, is this person the one that will get away for you? Probably not. But I do think that Spirit's saying they are coming into your life as the physical embodiment of a key issue in your romantic life that will continue to resurface with any suitor if you don't deal with it now. So there is a feeling of this person helping you work through some sort of fear and helping you be more open to love. And I think that that is their purpose in the month ahead. Could it be more? Absolutely. This person is very compassionate, caring and patient, but they're also very determined and they don't want to let go of you or give up on you. So that kind of energy shouldn't be taken for granted, sweets, because you don't own them <laughs> and they aren't going to be there forever. But it's a wonderful opportunity to practice overcoming something that, you know, is going to keep coming up. And this is a very kind person to do that with. So over here, let's talk about your seventh house energy as well. 
I did see romance in the cards for some of you. So I do see you guys dating. Okay, I see you having fun with this person if you can overcome that fear. Let's have a look at the seventh house now. What is happening with the seventh house for Aries, please, Spirit? What is happening with the seventh house in the love for Aries? Thank you. That was very clear. Love it. One more card, please, Spirit. What is happening with this seventh house when it comes to love for Aries in the month ahead? A lot of pentacles. We have the nine of swords at the back of the deck. So this seventh house reverse, sweets. There is a fear here. And you seem to be afraid of either getting into the wrong relationship or not getting the right relationship. Some of you are relationship phobic right now. And I think you have a reason we have the nine of wands reversed, five of cups with the six of pentacles. You want it to be balanced. You don't want to be disappointed. You don't want to feel like you're the only one giving, but you also don't want to feel like you have to try too hard. Like, can it just be easy for a change? Why do relationships require so much effort and work, especially in the beginning? Like, give me more of a reason to try this hard. I see you dealing with someone who is wanting to go the extra mile, but on the other hand, your main theme here is I don't want to go the extra mile. If it's too difficult, then it's probably not the soulmate that I've been manifesting. Some of you guys are telling yourself that love should be easier than this when actually you're being putting up a lot of resistance in the early days. So I'm seeing a theme here of not wanting to be disappointed, not wanting to feel like you've lost um, or like you've been rejected or your efforts aren't worth it. So you kind of back down and you try different tactics and you stay open to seeing other people in order to make sure that you're getting the best deal. Is this a bad thing, spirit? What, what am I, am I seeing any mistakes? <laughs> like what's going on over here? The two of pentacles juggling options. So for some of you, you're staying open to seeing multiple people, while for others of you, you're just really making sure that whoever it is that you're dealing with in love, they see what you, they need to do in order to come towards you. I see your approach in love changing forcefully um, because it's not working for you, sweets. Your approach in love in the next month is going to change, whether you're in a relationship, whether you're single, whether you're dealing with multiple people, it's going to change drastically because you haven't been able to get what you want and your actions have created very unstable foundations. So I do see a new cycle beginning for you and I see this new cycle being instigated by a very kind person, could be this person over here, a very kind person who is very determined to kind of um, provoke more of an emotional energy from you, um, where you seem to be coming in with a very passionate energy this person is trying to provoke your feelings and at if at first you don't succeed try and try again so I see you kind of having something not go accordingly and then having it a chance to kind of try at it again um, the thing about the month ahead is it's a lot of confidence building for you Aries it's a lot of trying to show you how you've been letting yourself down a little bit and how you need to overcome certain fears in order to get the energy moving in the right way. It's also a theme of you appreciating that you can have time for this. Some of you think you're too busy. Some of you are like, oh, but I'm busy studying or I'm busy kind of doing this and working on my business or working on my finances. Um, and you're going to realize that you can do both. That is one of the main themes here. So what is the advice over here with Aries when it comes to love in the month ahead? What is the advice over here for Aries? Hmm. Okay. Okay. I'll be honest. You cannot afford to give up yet. You are so close to getting something that you've really wanted um, and something that you really need. And I think that you need to believe in yourself more when it comes to love and you need to not talk yourself out of opportunities because you're telling yourself that something isn't working. And actually spirits like you just need to try harder. Um, 
You just need to try harder. Obviously, if it's very clear that that person isn't well suited, then it's not them that you need to try harder for, but it's you. You need to try harder for you, Aries. It takes two to tango is what I'm seeing here. And some of the major blockages in your love life are on your end. So your advice is to keep going. Your advice is that this situation isn't as unfertile as you think it is. There are aspects that have led to stagnation, but you are on the precipice of a very new cycle, a new beginning. And the goal here is to overcome hard feelings, to overcome a sense of loss and to overcome this feeling of um, I'm never successful so that you can actually move forward, putting your best self forward and seeing yourself better. I think that a lot of this has to do with confidence and fear and just appreciating yourself in a different way, showing yourself that actually I, I can have this and I can attract people like this. There's a lot of change in your love life. You have a lot of fives, a lot of changes, and they're all little sort of subtle changes, but in a month period, they compound into some big, big movement and some very different perspectives. So I'm seeing this as a positive, positive shift for you, Eric. And I hope that by mid-July, mid-August, that reading for you will be a lot better. I see you having suitors and I just see you being confused about what to do. So I hope this advice was helpful for you, Aries. That is what I'm seeing in the month ahead when it comes to love. Take the information that is helpful and that resonates. This, these readings are intended for a large group of people. So obviously not all of it is going to be helpful. Be sure to come back throughout the month if you think you need more information. And I hope to see you in your July predictions reading. Until then, look after your beautiful self and I'll connect with you very, very soon. Bye.